I'm Alison Honor. I'm Associate Dean for Student Experience for the Faculty of Technology, Design and Environment, but I'm also an OBSIA champion for the Oxford Book Social Entrepreneurship Award programme. So Sustainabus is one of our really incredible projects which we chose to fund um, through uh, a fantastic pitch from um, the student Ben Wilkins. Um, I think one of the really strong aspects of the Oxford Book Social Entrepreneurship Programme is that we invest in the entrepreneur and we wanted to embrace some of the guiding principles of the university um, which particularly around the area of generosity of spirit looking at ways in which we could create the next generation of change makers which we feel Oxford Books graduates can be and should be and I think it goes back to supporting the diverse range of students that we have and understanding that actually leaders come in many shapes and form and I think it's great to see those students who would not normally have said or called themselves an entrepreneur actually going on to be some of the world's hopefully the best entrepre social entrepreneurs that you can possibly have. Hi, my name is Ben and here's my story. When I was younger, I used to help my uncle on building sites, fixing people's plumbing, setting up electric circuits and sorting out those creaky steps. I remember my uncle telling me something along the lines of, when you put a roof over someone's head, the world puts one over yours. And when I started university at the age of 20, I took that method of helping people with me. I got stuck into a number of community projects and set up a few of my own, but I wanted to think bigger. One grey winter afternoon, I visited a friend of mine in Nottingham. As she invited me in and gave me a cup of tea, she told me how rough it was to find comfortable and affordable housing. That's when the idea hit me, so I immediately called my engineer friend and asked him, is it possible to live in an eco-friendly, sustainable, stationary bus? I'll crunch some numbers. He got back to me and told me that, in theory, it was possible. That was good enough for me. I used my Brooks network of engineering, architecture, art and design students and specialist academics, and together we came up with a solid plan. But it was only a plan. We needed funding and support. In order to make it reality, we had to take it to the dragons. You see, deep in the bowels of Oxford Brooks, we found a dragon's den. This particular panel of dragons are made up of social entrepreneurs, and experts from Brooks and beyond. I had to persuade them that my idea was a good one with a 10 minute explanation of my plan. Armed with all the information my Brooks friends gave me, I entered the den and delivered my presentation. They looked at the problem I wanted to tackle, what already exists, why my idea was different, the impact and its longevity, and as my story drew to a close, Sustainabus was born. The Oxford Brooks Social Entrepreneur Awards not only provided the funding for Sustainabus, but provided me with all the important support, guidance, planning, drafting and redrafting, which was integral to articulating my idea fully. My vision has grown and a number of people have joined me along the way. I see Sustainabus as providing affordable and sustainable holiday destinations for families and groups who want an incredible time and learn how low impact lives can be possible. I've always wanted to create positive change, and with Sustainabus starting to roll forwards, I know we are starting to make a real impact. Working closely with the mentors and social entrepreneurs linked to this project gave us the opportunity to succeed, and I hear my uncle's words ringing truer now more than ever. So where am I now? I'm going to put a roof over someone's head.